the uh, multi-million dollar question, Ray, as you know, and has been for the last so many years, there's no question whether digital transformation is important or not anymore, right? It's not even why should we be doing this? But the question is, how are we going to pay for it? So what are you seeing, especially now, given the situation and IT budgets under tremendous pressures, as you know, uh, what actions are companies taking? What actions are CIOs or even the, the, uh, the CEOs and the CFOs taking to make sure that, that that focus is not lost? How are they shifting their IT budgets so that digital transformation doesn't get shortchanged? There are a couple ways organizations are transforming their budgets and thinking about how to apply that towards new initiatives, growth initiatives. You know, one of the areas that we see that is picking up a lot of steam is, is cost reduction. They're renegotiating vendor contracts. They're looking at usage um, for cases where they actually flexed up and didn't have flex down provisions. You know, as you price up and you increase, you typically had no problem asking the vendor for more licenses. The question is, how do you actually reduce licenses? Never a fun discussion, um, but they're doing that as well. They're also looking at third-party maintenance as everybody here on this show would know. Uh, and that's one part of it. But the second part that's transformational is the movement towards automation. And we are seeing massive amounts of movement towards intelligent automation. And it's not just the RPA pieces or the process mining that's actually happening. Customers are looking at ways to automate as much as they can, whether it's a process, right? Whether it's a checklist, they're doing it for regulatory requirements. They're making sure they reduce the amount of errors, but it comes down to this thing we call decision velocity. If you are a machine, you can operate, make decisions a hundred times per second. If you are a human, you're lucky to make a decision one per second, and it's still going to take you about a week and a half to get past the boardroom. So it's a little bit of an unfair advantage. And people are starting to use this opportunity to invest in automation so that they can actually get to decision velocity, more about making precision decisions more quickly, preventing a risk and fraud attempt from occurring, trying to make sure what customers are wanting and sensing the new types of actions, using that for dynamic pricing and pricing optimization. And of course, right, figuring out where the cost savings based on usage, under usage, and, and trying to understand your customers better. Those are dynamic feedback loops that are being lit right now. And, and this is not gonna go away. So don't try to ignore it. Don't try to say, hey, we're done. It is still happening.